Hello friends, as the title of the video suggests, we are going to study about the difference between lateral earth pressure in the active state and in the passive state. What is the difference between earth pressure in active and passive? We are going to study, but to start with, I am drawing here the active state on the left hand side, whereas on right hand side, we will draw about the passive state. First of all, I am drawing a retaining structure and there is a backfill near by that retaining structure similarly in the passive state also there is a retaining structure and there is backfill also but to start with the first point which arises in our mind is that sir in the two cases both the soil will try to exert a force on the retaining wall and the direction of force will be away from the backfill and towards the retaining wall. But if this is the horizontal stress acting on the wall and this is also the horizontal stress acting on the wall, among the two cases, which of the two cases will have greater horizontal stress the question is very obvious that which of the following two horizontal stress will be more either in active or in passive the answer is very simple if we study about the direction of the net force on the soil and on the retaining wall according to the definition this soil will be said to be active if the net force on this particular wall will be in this direction whereas this soil will be said to be passive if the net force on the wall is in this direction in this particular case you can see that the net force on the wall and on the soil are in the same direction and in this particular case the net force are in opposite direction what will be the difference in these two cases it is very simple to observe and understand if we observe the net force between our two hands but the case is that this left hand is trying to move in this direction and right hand is also trying to move in this direction you can also observe with your hands that if both the hands are subjected to a net force in this direction the net force between these two hands the contact pressure will be very less but if these two for the retaining wall is left hand and the soil is right hand these two are subjected to the force in opposite direction that means both are trying to move in opposite direction and hence the contact pressure will be more so we can easily say that in the passive state horizontal stress will be more and it is observed that horizontal stress is found to be more than the vertical stress in the case of passive state whereas in the active state horizontal stress is found to be lesser than the vertical stress if we are observing an element of the soil it will be subjected to horizontal stress in this direction and vertical stress in this direction as in the active state we can see that the horizontal stress is smaller we can easily say that horizontal stress will be the minor principal stress as it is smaller and it will be written as the sigma 3 whereas vertical stress is more hence it will be written as the major principal stress and it will be denoted by sigma one for the active state similarly in this particular case sigma h dash is more hence it will be known as the major principal stress and it will be now onwards denoted as sigma one whereas vertical stress is a smaller it will be known as minor principal stress and it will be denoted as sigma three so i got i hope you got this particular difference and now i am moving to the next difference suppose there is a failure surface that is completely formed in these two soil 
there is another failure surface in this soil also then the question arises that at the time of failure this wall will move in this direction this wall will move in this direction and if the wall is moving in this direction the soil which is present above the failure surface will try to move in the downward direction with respect to this soil and the movement of the soil will be resisted by its surrounding soil and there will be a resistance to oppose this movement and the resistance will be in the upward direction whereas in this particular case we can see that at the time of failure this particular wall will try to move in this direction and if the wall is moving in this direction you can see that this soil will have only option to move in the upward direction and hence you can say that the failure wedge will move in upward direction and there will be a resistance from the surrounding soil to resist this relative motion and that resistance will be in the downward direction so this is another uh, difference between the active and passive state now the question the next question arises here that if the height of the failure surface or failure wedge is same in the two cases then what will be the angle of this failure plane with the horizontal in the active and in the passive state so the answer will be like that we have already studied in the shear stern chapter that an angle between failure plane and the major principal plane is known as theta which was denoted as a phi by 2 plus a pi by 4 this was nothing but this was the angle between failure plane and major principal plane in this particular active state we can see that the horror the vertical stress will be the vertical stress is major that means that this particular plane on which vertical stress is acting this plane will be your major principal plane fine and if this is the major principal plane and this one is your failure plane then the angle between the major principal plane and failure plane will be equals to theta and that will be equals to 45 degree plus 5 by 2 whereas in this particular case if you are observing then the vertical stress will be your minor principal stress as we have already written hence you can see that this horizontal surface will be your minor principal plane whereas this vertical plane will be your major principal plane in the passive state and we already know that the angle theta is between the major principal plane and the failure plane and hence you can see that this angle will be theta if this angle is 90 degree you can easily say that this angle will be equals to 90 minus theta and 90 minus theta will be equals to theta is 45 plus 5 by 2 it can be written as 45 degree minus 5 by 2 this angle in the active state was 45 plus 5 by 2 whereas in the passive state it is 45 minus 5 by 2 this is again a big difference between the active and passive state now the question arises if in both the cases the failure wedge height is the same that is h and h then in which of the following two cases the failure wedge will spread more in the horizontal direction that means in which of the following two cases this distance let in the active state it is la whereas in the passive state this distance is lp so the next question is in which of the two cases the failure wedge will spread more in the horizontal direction that means la will be more or lp will be more we are going to find out that the answer by just studying this triangle 
we already know that this side is capital H whereas this side is LA you can see that the value of 10 theta 10 theta will be perpendicular upon base that will be equals to capital H upon LA that means LA can be written as H upon 10 theta LA will be equals to H cot theta whereas we are again writing this as H cot theta whereas in the passive state LP will be equals to H cot theta minus sorry 90 minus theta and if we are putting the value of theta then it will be 45 degree minus 5 by 2 in this case and it will be equals to H cot 45 plus 5 by 2 it is very sure that this angle is smaller and this is angle is bigger we also know that smaller is the value of angle bigger will be the value of cot hence you can easily see here that as this angle is smaller as compared to the active state lp will be greater as compared to la that means we can see that the failure wedge will spread more in the passive state so these were the big differences between the active and passive state. I hope you all understood these points very well along with the reasons of these points. These differences will help you not only in the objective exams in the form of a small one mark questions as well as in the conventional questions. I hope you all understood this particular lecture. We are going to start with the Rankine's Earth Pressure Theory in our next video. Till then, padhte rahe, badhte rahe, happy in.